I wrote a vals or a waltz called La Semilla, which means the seed. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that title. Um, it's an introspective waltz. And, and the first name that I had for it was Introspective Waltz, before I took myself on a journey of naming my composition. I'm Adam Tully. I'm a composer and a guitarist. And if you like what I'm talking about, like and subscribe. If you're a musician, stick around. Later on, I'm going to get into the nitty-gritty detail. The way that this composition was born was I took myself on a journey from introspective waltz to La Semilla, which means the seed. And the original idea I had for a seed was, you know those seeds that come out of a tree and they look like a helicopter? And they go like this, and they go down to the ground. I had this image of one of those just going on a journey. And that's what the music sounds like to me, a journey. Um, and it took me to biology. You know, I, I thought of an old projector in an old classroom in a biology class. So listen to La Semisha, the seed, and tell me what kind of journey it takes you on. So a couple of interesting things, I think, about this composition. Um, this is, of all the music that I've written, one of the, maybe not the hardest to play, but it's got a couple of rhythmic things that I love doing that are hard to get used to, and I find that I have to rehearse them a lot until they sink in with whoever I'm playing with, and then it becomes a little more second nature. And what I'm talking about is hemiolas and um, superposition of different types of, basically I'm in 3-4, I'm in waltz time, right? And what I love about being in waltz time is saying, I've got 3-4, I've got 6-8, obviously, 3-4, 6-8, there's that classic kind of juxtaposition. And then I've also got 3-2, um, and those are, those are three meters that I like to play around with within um, the music, and then I like to put them on top of each other in terms of different parts going on. And if you listen to this piece, you'll hear what I'm talking about. There are one or two measures that are the hardest to rehearse because, you know, I've got one part in 6-8, I've got one in 3-4, I've got another in 3-2. And sometimes I have to say to people, don't listen to that person, listen to this, listen to yourself, listen to, and we do this whole negotiation, and then we figure it out, and it's really fun to play. Um, so the rhythmic thing is great. I think it's fun. Check it out. Um, and then I guess the other thing I would talk about is the chordal thing. You know, I, I did this thing with fourths um, that just felt right, and it felt like, well, the melody has a fifth in it, and then I do these things in the intro um, and the second intro with fourths, and the fourths and fifths kind of take me out of the maybe the classical romantic language um, uh, just a little bit. It doesn't quite take us into like mobile jazz, but it gets us a little bit out of maybe 1940s tango waltzes. Um, and I think that's part of what makes this feel introspective, the fourths and the fifths. So check out the rhythm, check out the intervals, and let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.